Hello, dear friend. This is Ewell Humphreys. Glad to be with you and share a few words with you from the Bible. Bible uh, reflections. And I, I want us to think about the fact that we need to follow Jesus. Follow Christ and you will find peace. Follow Christ. It's so important. Follow Him and you will find peace. And I want you to do that. I want you to find peace for your life and your heart. So that you can face each day with a song and say, I'm going to make it because God is with me. I want to may the Lord bless these few messages all over the world. And in Jesus' name, amen. Over in the book of Psalms, we read in, in Psalms 9 and verse 10, it says, They that know your name will put their trust in you. And, O oh God, they who you will we will not forsake them that seek you. They that know your name will put their trust in you, Lord. I hope you know the name of the Lord Jesus. It is so important to know that name. The Bible says, Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. I want you to do that. I want you to call upon him. And if you haven't done that, I want you to do it. Call on him because he saves you and ask him to forgive you and God will forgive you and you will be redeemed forever. Hallelujah, because Jesus paid for all your sins. Upon the cross he died that you could live and he rose again to bring us life. So I want you to pray a brief prayer if you haven't prayed before and just say it like this. Say, Dear God, please forgive me. I do believe in Jesus. I believe he died for me. I believe he paid for all my sins. I believe he rose again. I believe he's coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus, and help me live for you. Amen. Pray a prayer like that, and you will live forever. And then learn to follow him. You that are Christians, keep on following. Because when we follow him, we follow on to find peace. And we find peace because he is our peace. Over in the book of John in the 12th chapter in verse 20 it says if Jesus said if any man will serve me let him follow me. Do you, look, do you desire to serve the Lord that saved you my dear friend? I believe you do. If you will, if you desire let any man uh, serve me if, he, if any man will serve me let him follow me. And so if you're willing to serve him I want you to follow him. And then he says and where I am there shall my servant be. So if you follow Jesus, you're going to be wherever He is, and He's going to be where you are all the time. Whether you're on the mountain or in the valley, whatever time or whatever kind of situation you're facing, He's going to be there with you always. He's with you right now. He'll never leave you nor forsake you. Any man that served me, my Father will honor him. And so the Father God honors those who serve Christ and believes in Him and loves Him and follows Him. Oh, praise the Lord. The Bible teaches in Psalm 119, verses 15 and 16, it says, I will meditate on thy precepts, and I will uh, respect all of your word. I will meditate upon your word, and I will respect your ways, O Lord. Then it says, I will delight in your statutes, and I will not forget your word. We need to delight in the word of God, and not forget it. So we need to read it, and to read it often, and to read scriptures, and then try to memorize. And it teaches us things. One of the things it says, cast your care on him, for he cares for you. And so we need to do that, First Peter 5 and 7. We need to cast our care on Jesus. Say, Lord, I'm going to turn this trouble over to you. This problem of mine, I can't figure it out. I'm giving it to you. Please, take it, and help me not to worry about it anymore. Turn it over to Him. Turn it over to Him. That's the thing that's important. And that's what we need to do. We need to recognize that that is the important way. I was, uh, I know that it's, that it's difficult sometimes to turn our problems over to the Lord. But we need to do that because God is with us and He'll help us do it. So we need to seek and find the way of following Christ. In Luke, the 24th chapter, in verse 27, Jesus said, Beginning at Moses and at prophets, he explained to them, unto them, 
all the script in all the scriptures the things concerning himself. And so Jesus was talking to the men on the way on the road to Emmaus, and as he was talking to them, he began to explain to them the scriptures of beginning back with Moses and the five first books of the Bible and of the prophets and of the Psalms and he began to explain to them how they all of them had references and, and prophecies concerning the Messiah, concerning Christ himself. And so the Bible, from Genesis to Revelation, the Bible has so much concerning Jesus Christ. The main character in the Bible is Jesus Christ. We need to see that to know that and to believe it and become followers of the Lord. 1 Corinthians 15 verse 10 it says Paul said uh, I am what I am by the grace of God. By the grace of God I am what I am. This is true with me. If it wasn't for God's grace I would be far from being a preacher. I would be out there in the dark night of sin. But years ago hallelujah by the grace of God he brought me in and called me to preach. Oh God, thank God for that. I've been preaching 65 years. Hallelujah. And for the last seven years I've been putting little messages like these on the YouTube going out all over the world. And that's of God. I am what I am by the grace of God. These little messages are going out by the grace of God. Amen. We find it so. We learned to trust in the Lord and His Word. We learn to accept Christ as our Lord and Savior. And when you accept Him, you're His forever. You never have to worry. You're His forever. When people get married, I've married, I've performed marriage services for, oh, for, for many people through the years. And when a, when a couple is married, uh, the preacher will ask them at the end, now you take your marriage vows, and then they'll say to the man, do you take this woman whom you hold by the hand to be your lawful and wedded wife and so forth? And he'll say, I do or I will. And then I look at the woman and I say, do you take this man to be your lawful and wedded husband to have and to hold from this day forward, better or worse, and so forth and so forth? And she'll say, I do or I will. Now they do not say, I think so. <laughs> or they do not say, maybe so or they do not say I'm going to think about it no they say I do I will now did you know as a Christian you are married to the Lord Jesus he said you're the bride and I'm the bridegroom spiritually you're married to him and you belong to him praise God and you've said I do when you trusted him and it's meaningful and it's from now on and it'll never cease you belong to him not maybe so not maybe so, my, not that you might do it, but you have said, I do, I will, I accept it. Hallelujah. And when you do that, you're His forever. You're His forever and you'll never, never lose that. Over the Bible in John 10 and verse 27, it says this word, uh, My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. My sheep hear my voice, and they follow me. I want you to hear the voice of the Lord and follow Him. Follow Him wherever He goes. Be a follower of the Lord. It's important that you do this because this is so important that you learn to follow Jesus. Follow Jesus. I read a while, uh, an article one time not long ago. Um, a young man was filling out an application for a college and uh, he was filling out this application so that he could become a member of that school of college uh, and become a student there in the college and uh, the college was at the paper asked him a question and said are you a leader and uh, this young man wrote no I'm not a leader but I'm a very good follower he, the administration wrote him back a letter and said we accept you we are pleased with your answer. Out of 800 applications, it said, you are the only one, out of the 800 applications, you're the only one that said you were a follower, and that's what we're looking for. A follower that will develop into a leader. And that's the way it is with Jesus. He wants us to be followers, developing us into becoming leaders. 
So we need to follow Jesus. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere, everywhere, I will follow on. Follow, follow, I will follow Jesus. Anywhere he leads me, I will follow on. This is important. God bless you, dear friend, and help you to follow Jesus. He's going to lead you. He's going to lead you this time that you're facing right now. He's going to be lead you, and, and you will find the answers. You will find a way to keep going. You're going to find the solution you're looking for, but you'll find it when you go with Him. And even in the darkness, He'll be your light. And even in time of trial, you'll have peace. And even when you come to the mountain, you'll walk in delight because you're following Him. And He will lead you all the way. God bless you. God keep you close to Him. He loves you very much. In the name of Jesus, my beloved Lord, amen and amen.